And also, obviously, art. The aggression, the space creation. The guy is kind of a an untamable beast when it comes to the entries. So, ooh, welcome to the big leagues. TRK ate the Glock shot. Vinny able to double this one up, but there's a lot of bodies here for MIBR. They still have two players inside a short, and they have to keep their heads on a swivel peeking back and forth, still one up for element of surprise. Cuts off a single player in the 1v3, has a chance to re-engage, but decides to take the duel and the 2v1 flex for Furia. Here he is creating space inside of CT spawn, really messing around with the CT's in connector, but Fur will best him with just that pistol. Unfortunately for the counter terrorist, the only B defense came in the form of Taco and he is down, so Yuri, Mose three. And two face Toledo. See which one we get today. Terrorists win. I played Minecraft the other day with Taco. So all these kind of positives that played into them getting themselves killed. TRK, first man up to bat on the A ramp. Will he get a kill? It looks like he sees one. Player dropped oh. in from below. That's art. Gets the better of him. Some damage and a couple of name tags, but not a kill. Ouch, and the frag volley follows suit. I mean, there was a world there where TRK gets the opening kill. Poor Taco, back here, minimal cover, fire at his feet, smoke in his face, and a teammate on the back to try and hold off this construction split, but both of them die. So the B site falls into the hands of Furia, oh, and okay, down man. goes Fallen. That's a hell of an angle and you just don't have a lot of wiggle room. So you're almost in a one and done position. You can't get a medium distance fight down the round. Yeah, one and done. Just like where Taco found himself at the start of this round, he was very much committed to the wooden wall. Burr was supposed to be here to give cover and did trade efficiently. We sit 4v3 to the favor of MIBR, but oh man, he can't find any sanctuary or safety within those flames. Low end numbers this time for the CT side. First of all, tell your friends, okay? Don't even bother with the fights. Oh, okay, he's got the lineup. Oh my God. All the stars are lying. That was just beautiful. Yeah, now MIBR, but he's got that bomb tuck. So at least a little injection of money here at the end of the round. Goes for the peak, he's gotten out. Oh, he was given a chance. Could have snapped back with the AK, but alas. If he sees an opportunity, he's gonna strike because he's that good. All in about to strike a couple players down. Good patience there. Look at Taco's crosshair. He's not expecting a player to peek from the left here. Or maybe. Molotov oh, it doesn't not spread. gonna creep, no. Oh, until now, yes it does. A little delay, but it hits the mark. Art down, fallen, scoped, stairs closed. He's gonna have to extinguish the fire behind him, but in that time, KS Dorado does start to move himself closer. Another good volley of utility here gives him a chance, but fallen within the chaos still able to come out on top of this. And look at MIBR go. They break into this board and now look to follow suit with five alive. Everybody standing. Lots of utility usage to try and buy for control at the bottom of A, Art on the side of the smoke. That's gonna put these last two CTs in a very compromised spot. I mean, look at Art, he could wrap around short if he pleased, but he decides to go for the head and drops one. Aggression from Henny. In from short, 3v2 man advantage for Furia. He's like, yeah, I'm still gonna peek you, and he just swings out, even though there's two people there waiting just for the kill because his teammates only have pistols. So always scary to fight a homeless guy, a team that has nothing to lose. That is Furia right now, who are coming into this with pistols, and now are in the 2v1 to be able to close out the round. Negligible grenade, Taco. Gonna throw a quick smoke. Tries to get vision on short. He's trying to sniff out Yuri. Who goes for the peak, gets the duel, oh, takes man. damage, but also gets it done. Definitely a intimidating position for Fur to be in. If he doesn't have info on mid, then at any point someone could come clamoring over construction. But all of that was a ruse. It fooled us all. It's to the A site that that bomb will head. Down on the ground for the time being. Yuri's trying to get it back up, but... Oh my god, they're just gonna go for the kills instead. I mean, this is one of those moments where the, the bomb has... I mean, they don't have to retake yet. They're already in the process of the retake, and, and the bomb is only now attempted to be planted. Eight seconds, and the CT's really trying to force the issue, but they've given away their man advantage and fur with everything to do. He's gonna need four kills on the round, and in the 1v3 does some damage, but finds nothing more than that. These teams back in April clashed on Vertigo. 
score 16-4 to the favor of Furia earlier this month in May. An improvement as MIBR got to 10 rounds. Maybe the third time's the charm. But at the moment, we're trade training over here on the A site. Again, short is where the victims fall for MIBR. KNG posted, but remember he is tagged. 19 health is not a lot. The lack of window and new construction is also a talking point, but I really like this new connector from, from lower B to lower A. Around the closest corners of short A. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, KNG. Hey, you guys want to... Oh, another one. No oh, way. My. Yo, K Serrano's like, could you guys be any louder? They're literally uh, crouch walking. Holy crap. Poor guys. MIBR. But Taco on the flank. And he is starting to crawl forward with Fallen getting a kill and Fur adding one to the kill feed. This is huge. Taco, he could be the difference maker. He's got the back turn. Easy pickup. And the second on site goes down. Taco puts himself into the mix for the first kill. It's going to slow down the bomb as smokes begin to fade. And Furia, well, they're just going to keep their crosshairs up. You know, CTs can go ahead and, and do as they please, try to throw something into the mix, go for the spams and whatnot. But look how Furia just recomposed. They prepare for themselves for any sort of a push and come out. I just love how they're using K Serata's position to like pin the CTs into these two other choke points. Ooh, that one choke point does still prevail. Taco, he's able to get out. K Serato sent flying to the depths below. Smoke on top of Bad the bomb. Smoke. This is going to create one of those chaotic situations. Look how far that timer has gone already. Oh. And he's killed the player who's supposed to give cover, but Taco no in only time, he had a little bit more. Oh. Oh, Unfortunate. Man. So it's all fun and games. Yeah. You know, I like it when Valve shakes things up. TRK is shaken out of his hive, tries to hide behind boxes and dies after just one, but still gets the job done, finds a little bit of information, and we can see MIBR splitting their forces to try and get this fourth round. It's their final attempt on the defense to improve the score, and here it comes. It's an all-in from Furia, just charging headstrong, up ramp, no short control whatsoever. KS Serato, he's looking to take the top of the boxes to get the job done. He's using his teammate for the boost. And Fur is just going to lurk right on through the smoke. 1v2 for Henny, denied. It's a fourth for MIBR. Ready for it. They had the utility. They tried to big brain the frag grenades. But Vinny, he doesn't need a brain because he has two guns. And the first one connects, starts popping them off, rattling with the Berettas. A real threat here on short. And there's the flanking from Art as well. So oh. goodbye. Wow. There are still a couple of players from Furia here poised on the ramp, and I, I like the way that Yuri's just tucked into this one. This is one of those unorthodox spots to hold. Same with Vinny, crouched behind standbags. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's more predictable than I expect, but they don't expect that. He decides to charge forward. He had two HP, and Vinny caught fumbling his guns. Can Henny, with the element of surprise from the sandbags, come up with more than one? No, sir. Just the first kill and a good bit of damage onto Fallen, but he puts all of the job under the shoulders of KS Serato. Fall back, which means now there's a flank in play. He's spotted again. Oh my Ooh. god. But now the bomb's gonna go back and he's not heard on the rotate. Divided, but he just has to clean close right. And he will. Ah, ah. But he loses out on the gun duel. Crisp aim from Taco. Uh, for them to come back into it. Period. Yeah. They're gonna play with a lot of bravado, take some risks here as they have a lead. This may be one of them, K Serato, hand over face, peeking into the A ramp into a bunch of T's. Risk his life to go for that opening kill aggressively. Art's gonna do the same on the other part of the map, uh, but it's kind of evenly watched here from both sides. They boost up into the Molotov, which doesn't help their HP, but you know, five versus three, they're still fine. Unexplored stuff with this map, and in their scrims, they've seen more success in preventing the plants. We Find out. Another big, quick clash over here on the ramp. Look at Art. I mean, they're not shying away from what they want to force work. <gasps> oh, and, oh, Fur. He doesn't expect Art to be that much deeper. I mean, again, the, 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 the chaotic nature of that situation, all the utility, all the different weapons, and all of the different players trying to piece together what the hell is going on. Seems like MIBR come out on the bottom of it. In the end there, now Art revealing himself. He's got himself three of the kills until Henny's on the board. 
where, where Art gets that first kill and then holds the S key for once in his life and goes back up ramp. No need to overanalyze it, perhaps. Wow. Just let Art do Art and let Henny hold mid. He's picked up another kill, and that's the 5v4 for Furia. You were talking about where these 5v4s come from and what Furia looks like once they've got them. Well, they extend the advantage. Desperate, more scared, like a wounded animal starts to jump at any opportunity, and a 5v, well, 5v4 turns to a 5v3 to a 5v2 now. Come on, TRK. Give us something to talk about. He's got the 1v1 here with Yuri. Ah, gets the first, but Art... Quick exchange. Now it's all on Fallen, who has played lights out, I may add. 21 and 15 at the moment. However, it's now known to the CTs exactly where he's at. He's got six seconds. Get the kill. Oh. He can pull this off. He's got it. No. Oh, he, oh. oh no. He actually could have put the bomb down in 1v2. So as much time as we have to talk about it, he's got to process and make those decisions all the while. So. That's true. I forgive Fallen. Oh my god, look at Art. I mean, he just did it again. Yep. And what's beautiful about this situation is he's doing it in the 4v5. They've already lost a player, so you know MIBR are going to be confident <laughs> with this moment. <laughs> Fallen's still watching Smokes, even though there's a player to the left of Art. Don't forget, there's a T wrapping back now. TRK is going to deal with that. Threat neutralized. I, I get exactly what you're saying. The, the game plan's struggling, but at least they're not in the middle of an identity crisis. Mm. Uh, stay back, stay in cover, try and stop the bomb. It's MIBR to charge headstrong into this site. A little bit of spam trying to be thrown forward here, trying to create this distraction, the chaos. And that's a huge kill. TRK clearing out short now enables MIBR to easily fall back into their post plant, you would think. There are still kills elsewhere. Henny's flank, the bottom of all of this, put things into a pinch. And TRK again with what is one of the most crucial kills of the moment. First he gets short, now he deals with flank, and then MIBR are back at bat trying to close out this clutch. Chaos Serato denied, and MIBR take 10. Already worked once. We saw Art go down, blow away fur from inside the smoke, etc. Now it's Henny at bat. Oh. Oh. Grabs the double, a third. And this is all you needed, baby. Four near five shots from Henny, all hitting the mark until the last. Fallen's gonna have to pick up all of these pieces. He gives chase and gets that second kill. 35 seconds to try and clutch this, but he's gonna fall right back into the flank. And just like that, it's furious. For DreamHack Masters Spring 2020. In a group that features Furia, Liquid, MIBR, and Chaos. Oh, whoa, uh, somebody just yeah. plucked the man out of the sky. I'm not sure who did it, but somebody's yeah. dead there. Poor guy never touched the ground. Yeah, I Ooh, think Art switched it, hit the guy upper, and then Henny killed the guy jumping off. There was some optical Four illusion there that happened, but ultimately, yeah. And they could very well rob away an opening pick. It's up towards the top of box halls that Tacos punishes the aggression. Two CTs who thought they could take more real estate than they could afford. The mortgage payments crippling. Oh. Taco denies them, but ha, okay, somehow, some way, we are back into the two versus two. All of Taco's success up towards that B site. I mean, he finds a clear B bomb site, but the bomb itself is fumbled on the footing of A. So Henny has found himself. And unless Taco, I don't know if Taco's going to trade or get info, but it might not even help that much. Oh, whoa, he's real close. Taco, no peek just yet. Oh, and he's got to look to be aware of everything. Man. Wow, he comes out late. Nice timing from Taco. They're all wrapped around this next corner, and the further they go, the closer they get. The first one's bagged. Henny hits the shot and the follow-up from Chaos Dorado. There is a third player in Fallen, and he has that bomb, so he has to win these duels, or else that bomb is going to be cut off from the two other Ivy players who are also starting to pressure Henny. From both directions, he's being hit, but Vinny up from above guns them down, and Furia right back with another round win. And with a scope down range in Henny, oh my oh. god, he shoots his toes off. KNG is going to be disbalanced as he tries to work his way into the site. One health for him, seven on fur. Another <laughs> dink? Are you kidding? This is incredible. These players, three of them shouldn't be alive, and now one of them finally falls. That's fallen himself. Yuri, he's on the bomb site trying to deny any sort of a plant. TRK just beneath him gets shut down, and Fur and KNG, I mean, they're 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 frozen in fear because of their 
low HP, but KNG tries to move this one forward, gets the first, dies to the off up close, and we've got Henny trying to clutch seven seconds. He just needs to survive. There's oh. no time for the plant. He's just got to dodge them. The dance of death with Taco. He succeeds despite the time. As Henny runs from the site, that's a 1v3 to his name because of that. Big moves, man. Big moves. And again, we were talking about the importance of that round. I mean, think about what hinged on it. That was the gun round they'd had hoped for. The 5v4 to start it off. Now trying with the little that they had, still finding a little bit of footing. I mean, this is going to be something oh that they God. should have never won. Yuri responds back with another good headshot. Vinny trying to focus forward on this. It's a one versus two, and he is so fixated on the first player that he opens himself to the side. But... He needs to decide which angle to hold into safety. Slides back into the site. He is going to be caught in this lane, though. They're going to peek at a distance. He has the scope of the AUG, and he opts not to use it. Taco with the headshot. Whoa, that would have been a lineup of the year. But just the one from Henny. That's all that mm. happens here. Fallen. Laying down the law with the op at a distance to allow MIBR to close the gap, get onto the bomb site, and even plant their bomb. So Fallen's been inconsistent. Fur has been pretty consistent. Uh, but, you know, people are dropping off at different times, and obviously they simply don't have Cold Zera, you know. TRK still zero kills. There it is. Breaks the curse versus Art. That's going to force the feet forward from KS Serato, and KNG creeps on Ivy too. Henny not ready for that AK up close. KS Serato exposed to both sides. He knows he's in a tough situation but is able to just back up and focus forward and still takes the head of TRK. Oh. Nice foot shot from KNG. Yuri. Winnable. Bat, bat. 30 seconds left over. His bomb has to work its way up. Both players 100 health. Fallen swinging the off and Fallen's at a distance. Play back. He hears the footsteps on top of the train too and he should have heard that drop. 100%. Fallen's able to wrap back around it. There's no utility in this play. It's going to come down to the shot. Fallen, he's going to have to nail this. And you can see Yuri starting to figure it out. Gets the best of him. The rounded train, Mohan. Yuri to the top rope. He's got someone covering his outer upper peak. So he's very much just focused on ramp. Despite being blind, still kills Spur. Ooh, Taco. Oh. He gets the further of the two kills, so Yuri's still afforded a little bit of close proximity. Tries to swing around the M4, but he too taken out of this one. So it's Fallen and Taco on top of each other. Too much lettuce falling out the sides. Deep smoke over towards ramp. That's going to block Fallen out of the post plant. Vinny, he's going to creep and crawl, try to get the backside of Taco, who dies already. So now Vinny's just going to try to basically body block, but Fallen finds two backs turn, and the time is getting low. <gasps> Fallen, that could have been the crucial kill. He just needs to get the diffuser off of it, swapping to the AK, killing KS Serato, and ultimately winning the round. Fallen does it 1v3. Wow. He ends up going down, but what a mess. So they realize... Lady Luck has graced them with a little bit, but here we have it. An attempt back on the outer yard. KNG's getting dinked, and he doesn't know where from. He knows there's a player back Ivy, but I don't think he realized it's Vinny again inside of these smokes, toying with the USP. Another 3v2 man advantage made possible by Furious Pistols. Yuri at the top of the ladder. Art swaps out guns, finds them turned. Vinny's back in with his pistol. It's as vanilla as it gets for Vinny, and still so delicious. Taco, his back is turned to the player who's about to lurk out. 19 health. A single shot should be enough to drop him. He's got eyes on Vinny. He takes more damage, but still stands. Taco has a chance here. Looking to close the half with as many rounds as they can. The shadow gives it away, but Vinny, what are you made of, man? On top of back six, inside of the smoke after he gets the kill, doesn't drop off even though Fallen comes to hunt him down because then he doesn't have a play to get another sneaky kill. He stays up there with his USP and makes it two more. Here's Art trying to hang on to the outer yard. This is a lot of pressure. Tenacious play from MIBR. Oh, Vinny turns his head away. Fallen could have extended and just blindsided him, but still both players are up until that. Taco from downtown with the MAC-10 takes more shots to the head. He's on 22 HP, swapping to the AK and falling in the end. Furia, three rounds, the advantage. Inner bomb site, but hold on. Look at this offensive being thrown up 
by MIBR. They've already established a headshot. And seeing as TRK only has six kills in this map, that's a good time to pick one up. 5v4 in the pistol. Yeah, he's been around for the fight. Nobody's giving him another shoulder peek, so it looks like they're waiting, I think, to sell this almost as a fake, or maybe want to try to trap him. But they put presence on Ivy, which should sell as a big fake towards outside since TRK stood out there for so long. They're making noise now. Taco's tucked into the site, but dropping another player means that nothing is going to be that convincing. A couple more pistols trying to clap at a distance. Here's Taco out from the corner. Maybe jumps the gun, but I mean, so be it. If he's the only casualty, then this is an excellent situation for MIBR, but Yuri's still trying as he can. Yep. Nope. But because there has been zero pressure at that A site for two rounds in a row, they've also got Fur added to the tally here. He's going to try and throw out that Molotov while his two teammates fire off. And Taco, good for another double, but Yuri does the exact same with the better weaponry. So much damage still added to the players who are standing for Furia. All three have to be cautious here. A little smoke spam as they chuck bomb over to the site, flash through and denied. Henny gets the kill and he knows that that utility came from a helping hand inside of Z, so he could be ready for the last kill, which is in fact fallen. Potential clutch in the cards. Ooh. And oh. down he goes. The headshot connects. Excellent round from Henny. And eventually, Fury are going to have to make their move. So here comes KS Serato, getting ever closer, putting a smoke past it, and enabling Taco to go for the peak while KNG locks down ramp. And Taco wastes no time dropping down into this. So three easy kills, it seems, for MIBR. The fourth added to the top, and the op closes shop. That is MIBR. Quick one. Furia trying to charge headstrong into this A-bomb site. Art doing a good job of dodging bullets inside of the smoke and just continuing forward here until finally Fur will put a stop to the first, a second at bat, and Yuri is down. And now a 4v3 set to unfold to the favor of MIBR. But the problem here for Furia is that they're already committed to the site. Their players were already prepared to trade forward off of that initial bit of success. The start of it stopped and the tail end of the caboose kept rolling. Fur finding another one blindsided. So Henny having to clutch this in a 1v4 with 10 HP. I think not. Furia, they found the open door, Launders, but it seems it was spring loaded. And once they got halfway out, it very quickly clamped down on them. Nothing wrong with throwing out a fast outside exec. And as we see once again by the minimap, they made a lot of progress. But uh, they are stopped pretty quickly. Fire will do that to you. Art, though, still finding angles here. Instead of playing up the train lane, he gets over to the bomb site itself and peels one off of the side of Z. So, 4v... Excuse me. 5v3. Until that grenade hits the mark. Chaos Serato had a second chance for the duel, taking a dink, but still taking names. And here comes Taco. 27 frags. As he interrupts the bomb plant, Yuri's going to go back at it. Yeah, and top of the T-Con train is the most kind of key position here. He'll get initial fight. contact. Cover the bomb site on both sides now. Yeah, Taco can't even try this. Another round where he's got two kills, but no chance of winning. Trying to clean up the mess. Yeah. Flashbangs on point. Taco, easy pickings on the first one and great follow-up damage. So again, he finds his impact, plus 150 ADR. TRK has eyes above, but whew, thank goodness for him, KNG can find Yuri who had already snuck past him. And that op through smoke drops bomb. Disgusting. I think that uh, Furia have been made it very clear. On rounds they go outside, they throw a lot of grenades. Oh, oh my God. Uh, oh. And it, yeah. You can see it. MIBR not moving. Looking to lock it down where it stands, but Art just, I mean, he looked way too easy. Of a pickup on that one. Now, pressure comes out from ladder. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the kill. That's the one. Pistols overwhelming fur is one thing, but TRK getting his head cleaned off is a real issue. And KNG, he, he does stop plant. 20 seconds left over, and Taco's gotten himself into the mix on the 2v2. Yuri, he's going to want to plant this, but it looks like Taco's hunting for the feet. Down he goes, fallen all that is left. 10 seconds on the clock as Bomb is planted, sees the player over towards E-Box and gets into the cover, but because he is blind, he dies and single flash on KNG, but at least they've called the stack correctly. I mean, this is one of those wonky wild rounds that...
could somehow work out. It helps that they get the 5v4 first. I mean, it's curious to see how much Furia are going to try to force the issue here. Burr's grabbed himself a second kill, so we stay even on the 3v3, and they still have cover on the train. Yuri and Henny, those are the kills that matter. They clean up shop. They figured it out. I don't know what their plan is this time around, but MIBR have decided to go aggressive. It might be a smart move. Or oh, damn art. Yeah, at least able to get that first one. Luckily, they did go in with two. But now Yuri is trying to create the space one better, and he gets shut down. So KS Dorado removed from the top of the train. This is huge. MIBR creating a clash outside and coming out better for it. But Vinny, he evacuates the route towards the B site, and he's going to commit to this while that bomb tries to find its positioning. Molly outside of Z, smoke down lane. He sees the CTs committing and KNG's out in the open. Another attempt from Vinny here. The ball's on this man. 1v2. Henny, oh my god, he gets fallen in the open. And now Fur with a health disadvantage is nowhere to be found. So this bomb plant comes through too. Yeah, back bomb. bomb has been planted. Henny just spinning there trying to find it. And Fur, oh no, he still thinks it's B. Now he realized. Yeah, okay, he's coming. And Henny, interesting position to try and play this. I like it. He's ready for the peak. And just like that, Henny exchanging.